everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. There is new information out here. The information regarding the cease and desist, as we're saying here, that she put yesterday as of this recording, that she was... Uh, received the cease and desist and is ex expecting to, uh, you know, put it out there soon and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is, you know, to a serve, she's going to be actually going for it. And it's between Raziel Wormonic, which is this person here, who used to be a mod of Luka Kaneshiro and Luka Kaneshiro themselves, who is a part of Luxium, one of the favorite children, uh, uh, supposedly, allegedly favorite children, allegedly all these types of things. So we're going to go over the cease and desist, which I was able to get uh, some photos of thanks to False ID. I appreciate him covering it. This is all thanks to false ID. Just going to give credit where credit is due. Right here, we have it. And what I'm going to do is I am going to push myself down where you only see my face. And just in order to be able to show you guys everything. Here we go. It says, our firm represents any color ink and any color our client. We are instructed in relation to activities carried out by you, which have caused distress and damage to reputation to any color and individuals to whom any color manages including but not limited to the publishing of a 58-page document, publishing and promulgating, which is, you know, furthering falsehoods against any color and its VTubers, and similar falsehoods spread through social media accounts you operate, in breach of our clients' rights and terms of confidentiality. So they're saying that you are defaming them, you are spreading falsehoods. So this is probably going a little bit closer to defamation from what I can tell. Purpose of this letter. Uh, given this regretful situation, our client considers that it has no option but to instruct us to write you, to you seeking these activities cease. Our client trusts that this letter will be received in the spirit in which it was intended as a reasonable request to end these activities. This demand is to ensure that the public is not misled by the publication of a misinformation that is according to Nidhi Sanji. We have seen proof and everything like that. It's a rat, but it's a rumor, but whatever they see is misinformation. In the protection of its VTubers who are attacked and damaged thereby, and in protection of its own reputation as a reputable organization. Please, therefore, consider this letter as reasonable demand that you cease and desist these unlawful activities, uh, which are particularized below. They put improper and unlawful actions that they're mentioning. As you're aware, any color owns and operates a VTuber business involving live streaming, merchandise sales, digital products, any color and promotional services. Any color has recognized reputation in the industry, a bad one right now, at least. Managing and uh, numerous livers and VTubers, any color takes pride and care in the attention it provides its business and its clients including to the VTubers to operate at any color's platforms, any color's positive reputation and good name are no small part in the success. Our client became aware of the document. So it is about her document. It is about the document that they have there. The 20, the 58 page document on March 29th under the account you maintain is online persona. The document was published at this link, but it was removed by Google within a day for violating its terms of service. It remains accessible, however, to a significant audience, which is what they're saying here. They're saying it's a significant audience at the following link another drive.google link. As it was inevitable, it was always to be published, including video summary here. And that's the video that it was it was published under. Your document purports to depict events between you and a VTuber managed by any color known as Luca Kaneshiro, as we understand that many of the references you make in connection with Luca are false and misleading, according to them. Of course, this is one side saying it. While simultaneously you assert false and serious accusations, again, them saying it, about any color's business practices and management which are significantly likely to mislead readers about the true position of any color. This is a big, basically a bully move. The way I see it, it's a bully move. Any color causing serious harm to its reputation among the many false statements are serious accusations erroneously asserting unprofessionalism, mismanagement, and neglect, including but not limited to the following. One, that any color's management of VTubers was non-existent and that any color provided zero support or PR or training to their VTubers. Um, and the true position, according to them, is that any color takes great care to provide support and training to the VTubers, including providing compliance training programs and covering and explaining laws and rules which VTubers must follow. Two, that any color refused to take any action when multiple women came forward concerning alleged harassment by another liver, because she did put that in her document. That, you know, there were people coming about harassment of, a, of a, you know, I think it was Aster Arcadia at that point, and, you know, they did nothing. And two, that any color takes responsibility towards employees that also met that the two, the true statement that they have is that any color takes responsibilities towards employees, those management and treats allegations of misconduct seriously and reacts appropriately to any allegations brought to its attention. 
including via personal consultations with its human resources and their legal representatives since April 2012, 2024, through its internal whistleblowing policy. But this is talking about before April 12th. That's the thing. So they're not talking about anything before April 12th. So she could be true. Everything could be true if she's talking about things before April 12th. And after April 12th, things got fixed. Yes. But you're still not saying, you're saying that it's not true, but you're saying that it only happened uh, at, in the internal whistleblowing policy for livers on April 12th. So they're missing themselves up, in my opinion, at least. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. You guys let me know. That any color has not taken steps to suppress the accusations asserted in your document, nor would it, nor would it save by way of this proper channel seeking to prevent the public from mis being misled by propagation of damaging misinformation being put into the public domain via your document. Uh, basically, this whole thing, it's a double, I, I, unfortunately, I put double here, but this is basically saying that they are doing this to prevent misinformation. She has spread misinformation, that they are trying to prevent the, the public from being misled. Really, what it is, is that they're seeing the fire has not gone out. They wanted to, they were hoping that the fire would go out. No one would pay attention to it, but enough people did that they decided to get their lawyers involved. Next, you are likely aware that the falsehoods are damaging to any color and those referred to, not at least evidenced by the fact that you seek to make your accusations under the cover of anonymity via a fabricated identity, presumably to seek seek to avoid liability. No, it's not to seek to avoid liability. She is, if you're a public figure, you try to be as anonymous as possible because of the fact that you have people trying to dox you. You have people that are going to try to swat you. You have people that are going to try to do a lot of things and people who are going to be sending fake, like false stuff like this. This is like this. It makes no sense, really. Those statements have the significant propensity to harm any color's ability to perform its business, retain and accept future clients, and protect its proprietary information, such as contractual terms, by your unauthorized reference, reference to and publication to them. We already know the contract. The contract has been leaked. It's already out there. I and others have made videos about it. Like, we know what you require of your talents. This, the, the, the document, her document wasn't more damning than the actual contract that was signed. In sum, your document appears purposely designed to garner online attention with false and defamatory statements based on no information or upon distortions or misrepresentations, and for which there could be no justification or possible public interest. I think there is a public interest. She could definitely argue public interest because that's preventing people from going to a bad company. So she could absolutely argue public interest in this. Absolutely, without a doubt. What our client seeks, what, what Nidhi Sanji wants to happen, in light of the extent to which your document has been circulating online it, and entirely expected to have been republished and its false accusations repeated, it will lead to present potentially significant damage to our client's reputation. Too late for that. We reserve our client's rights in regard, but in meantime, our client believes that it has no other option other than engage in counsel to seek an end to this conduct and protect itself, its staff, and its businesses and reputation. Too late. Streisand effect has taken full effect. You're trying to delete this off the internet? You're going to make sure the Hydra has 10 more heads for every head you lop off. Accordingly, we require that you forthwith cease publi publishing these or similar false and defamatory statements concerning any color and its business or from discussing company business in breach of your contractual obligations. Provisions. As you expressly agreed in Article 6.2 of the confidentiality agreement you signed with us, if you violate, you're likely to violate the agreement by dis disclosing confidential information. Any color has the right to demand that you see such violation and you shall comply with the demand. The demand constitutes a reasonable request contractually provided for. Now we have been retained as counsel. You should now please direct any and all further things to them, basically saying, you know, uh, don't contact the client directly. Don't contact the VTubers directly. Don't contact anyone else directly. You can get independent legal advice. You can get all that stuff. Uh, we acknowledge you're entitled to discuss this matter with legal representative. They say that you can actually do that. For completeness, it's not a complete recitation of everything, everyone's rights. You know, more, they could amend it. More things could come forward. They could go for legal recourse. They could go for suing them. That type of stuff can happen. Uh, you know, basically, they're saying delete everything that you've created. If things have been created after that, you don't have the control. Of course, she doesn't have the control. But she, if she signed a confidentiality agreement, then, um, of course, they're saying, you know, you should definitely uh, not go against it not go against the confidentiality agreement that you've signed. It is something that you should, uh, you know, basically be going legally for, according to what they're saying there. And the confidentiality agreement is the confidentiality agreement that they're talking about is this one. It's a little bit blurry. I apologize for that. It says uh, any color party, and in this case, Raziel, enter the following agreement with respect to the handling of the confidential information, disclosure, and all that kind of stuff. Effective term of this agreement shall be two years from the date of execution. Provisions Article 2357910, etc. Full force for two years, even in the event where the agreement is terminated due to expiration of the effective term. So they're trying to say that no matter what, the NDA, the whatever confidentiality agreement, it goes on forever. And I don't think that's going to work in the West. I personally don't think it's going to work in the West. 
I don't think they have a leg to stand on. But like I said before, and I've mentioned before, this is something that will uh, absolutely have an issue uh, in court. But, you know, the paying of court type of thing is, is going to be a problem. The paying through it in court is going to be a problem for everybody. That is going to be something that she's going to have to worry about. And, you know, Nidhi Sanji has a ton of money. So she's going to be the one that's going to have to worry about this. But I, I do feel like I should uh, put out the responses of people that, that are on here. You know, the responses that people have placed with, you know, against Didi Sanji. Again, the quotes are here. You know, it's better for making fun of any color, making fun of any color and wearing this nice Kurosanji thing. I want to talk about this different implications. It's uh, LM did an analysis regarding what Raziel posted back then. They they said that it wasn't anything defamatory. And my hate for Nidhi Sanji has skyrocketed even more. The company leave it before it's too late. You know, big Nidhi W, according to this person, um, you know, they're, gonna, they're both sides. They're going to be both sides. When you try to look for the truth, that's going to be an issue. That's going to be something that's going to be going on. And um, the Streisand effect is going to take full effect for them. We all know that Fuomoko is lightning in a bottle. We know that Fuomoko, because of the fact they're twins, because of the fact they were twins in their previous life, in their past life, when they were the, the Gogo Nippon girls, we know that they were already doing this for a while. They were already doing the, the uh, VTuber twin shtick for a bit. It is not anything new to them. So it is basically, it was, it came like natural to them. Now, Nidhi Sanji is trying to do the same thing. Because guess what? Fuomoko's doing incredibly well. They were really well re well um, received on the side of, you know, Hololive. Hololive has been supporting them a lot. They've been having a lot of fun, a lot of collabs, a lot of things. But the difference is Nidhi Sanji doesn't seem to be the company to really support. It's kind of like, let's do the twin thing. We're not going to give you any support, more than likely. Because look at what happened with Danoth recently. We're not going to give you any support. But hopefully, you'll get us more money, which is pretty much what they're doing here. The forms, the Google form here is all in Japanese, but I'm going to get you the actual Google form here, right here in English. It says, thank you for applying to Virtual Talent Academy. We are now accepting applications for candidates who wish to debut as our talents. Looking forward to receiving the applications. It's Virtual Talent Academy pair edition. It says the applicants in the pair must be in a close relationship. So they're saying either brother, sister, that type of thing, really close so that they can meld well. Both people in a pair must apply for this edition. Those who can continue work, prioritize schedule adjustments. Those who can participate in interviews in Tokyo. So this is a purely Japanese one. Those who can secure an activity schedule and also have night lessons in Tokyo. Anyone with willingness to learn regardless of experience. If you're a minor, please get parental consent. Of course, that is a big red flag. Uh, the fact that they're even considering minors at this point is a severe red flag. Uh, Hololive doesn't do it. As far as I know, Face Connect, all even the smaller ones, they don't accept minors because that's a whole new can of worms you do not want to open. So they're even willing for minors to join this, like high school students to join this. They're really getting that desperate, it seems. On my opinion, it seems that way. I really hope that this isn't successful in the sense that they don't get people because the people are going to be suffering from imposter syndrome. They're going to be suffering from no support from what it seems like, at least based on history. And it's going to make the livers, the, the talents, the VTubers themselves suffer, which is not what I want. The thing about needing to be a duo in close relationship just screams... Uh, to me that they saw how well the re re Fuomoko was received uh, and, the, and the other company in, in Hololive and they wanted to repeat it. Uh, sounds like maybe San Sandy hired Akio Ayers, Jason, if they're going to be going the minor route. There's a reason Corpos take on 18 plus age people. It's a lot less risky legally. It's a lot less risky overall. You know, people are just not going to um, be enjoying themselves too, as much. And you're going to have to worry about parents. You're going to have to worry about guardianship, hours they can do it, school, all that kind of stuff. Nidhi Sanji cannot harness the talents they have normally. Getting the most out of family members is harder. Even if they manage to find a good talent, they will not be able to grow them like to be a battle killer, let alone a Fuomoko killer. Let's say they manage to get to find one. One mishap, they're either... Uh, gonna be a flop or worse if it's actually twins there's a chance twins will fight each other due to mismanagement that's the thing they have really good managers in hololive it seems like the twins love each other and they're treated well they're not treated as competitors they're treated as a unit it's not like oh fuomoko's getting more reception so you do fuomoko instead no they're treated as a unit so they are getting the benefits as a unit heck even when they got their play buttons which they actually got hololive bought two play buttons for them one the regular play button they get for free and they bought an extra one for them so that they both can have their play buttons because they are both a part of this whole thing. Now, here we have a green text that I'm gonna put as the final part of it. It says, Fuomoko has surprised the newest gen, Slam Desk accidentally graduates Selen. By the way, this is on 29th of August, 2023, before Selen even happened. Masaka gets up from the table, inputs bandaged phone number, uh, turn TV, I wanna graduate you, or I graduate you, Fuomoko shows up on TV, twins, yes, yes. 
Input staff number on the phone. Seems you must activate protocol 66. Wipe sweat. Graduate the five bottoms of blacklist. Reduce merch earnings by 1%. Use Vox's picture to blackmail him for additional funding. Open our C cages and accelerate the interview process. We require a new generation of twins only. Close this phone. Yes, yes. A new generation full of twins. This was basically a Nostradamus moment. This was a basically telling the, the future type of moment because this was on the 29th of August, 2023. This was like way before, like around the time Fuamoko happened and way before the Selen thing happened. So it was, it's like, holy crap, things are, things are getting crazy, you know, but, uh, basically a, a, a freaking, uh, yeah, a telling the future type of moment, predicting the future. It's a strange rat. The ports are horny as well. Um, you know, basically kind of making fun of people, but it is kind of crazy that Nidhi Sanji ever thought this was going to be a good idea. Let's see how this goes. Of new information we have here of Nidhi Sanji stocks being at an all time low. Right here, it's 2085 when this thing was written five hours ago. Uh, it would find it really funny if it hit 1900s before the quarter four report. Maybe after the quarter four report, it could be dropped close to 1900. Not yet. This yearly low, all time low, something around 1950 to 1980. I uh, can't remember exact numbers. Get to work, lads. We're almost there. Uh, all time lows for midday trading and close were 1965 and 1972, respectfully, on last year of March 15th. Uh, incidentally, close on 2.5, a few hours before Selen was formally terminated, was 38.20, so that was near their all time high. A lot of drop aside from Selen incident. They don't meet the forecast in quarter four. Things are going to look bad. Anything below 2,000 will be terrible for them. Uh, people, you're all doing great. Come on, baby, baby, baby. Get it down. Get it down. Get the numbers down. Sell, sell, sell. Of course, the Japanese stock market won't allow that, but you know, that's what you want. What happened in early 23, 2023 because of the big drop? I don't know what happened in 2023 because of the big, like, that would cause the big drop, uh, but it is on an all time low right now. Uh, most likely it will go even lower knowing the quarter four is going to go. Unfortunately, cover stock will also tank because they're both tied together. Unfortunately, cover whenever Nidhi Sanji seems to go low, theirs drops a little bit because they're tied in the same uh, field, the same organ, the same type of uh, organizational structure, the same type of uh, VTuber atmosphere type of thing. So they, they seem very tied together. And here is any color. March 16th, 2023. March 15th is at 1965. That was the all time low. And yeah, that's basically showing proof that they had an all-time low at some point. An independent creator like myself, like a lot of people who are in the VTubers here, has finally been able to do full-time content and get paid for it properly. And thanks to the support of the people who have been watching them. This is Poseidon from Mythos. Right here it says, big update. I'm no longer working in my divine duties, which is the part-time job that they had. Thus, I'm going to be content creating full time. Ever since I started VTubing journey, my time has been split between content creating and working. And now I can fully dedicate myself to doing what I truly love. You'll see more of me around and longer streams. So stay tuned. So that's good. It's very good. Source Twitter that looks like a job for Aquaman. And the Twitter is here. So it is a source that is actually good here. Congrats. That's amazing. Uh, congratulations. That's so awesome. Fulgur Ovid from Nichi Sanji EN. Fulgur Ovid benefit positive, negative, whatever. He's saying something positive here. Whatever you believe about Folger, as far as I know, he hasn't had any big stuff except for the, you know, the bad stuff that he said about uh, Hollow uh, EN Council. No, I think he said it about Myth. He said it about Myth a long time ago. Congrats. Congrats. How can I get to that point? Hell yeah. Congrats. Congrats, Poseidon. Great to hear that you're going through this. A lot of people are very, 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 very happy, including myself, because it's amazing to be able to get to that point. It is absolutely amazing, and I can't believe I'm not following this person. And this is their actual VTuber account here, Poseidon. Oh, I've actually watched them before. I've actually watched them before. They're a very good content creator. I like them. They're very entertaining. They, they've they've done things, you know, with with Jawal. They've done with the things with other people. So they they're growing and they're going to continue growing. I just want to give you guys a little bit of positivity here. Here we have who is the person who is uh, purported to be Anna's PL doing some venting on her alt account on her PL account. Really, really sad and disappointed that I worked so hard on the original song and that it's done. But one of the freelancers I'm working with has ghosted me on, on and off for almost an entire year. They literally almost have it finished and pay them already. So sorry for venting because I really hold back from other people's sake. But this has really been piling up. Everything is just completely out of my control. And I feel like I'm going to go insane. And just to show you that this is actually what's been posted on here. Here you go. And they were talking about, you know, crying wrote ah for the vocal synth thing. And it's and it saying triple A. Ah, ha, ha. Don't reply. If I don't reply, it's because I'm really stressed, but trying to keep it together. So there's been things going on in that platform. This is purported to be Anna's alt. Uh, I'm not a psychologist, but it's very clear she's on the verge of breaking down. She better go seek professional help ASAP. She has to get help. Not, I'm not mean, meaning like to be mean, like go get help or whatever. But no, if you're actually going to get into that point where you are stressing out that much, get something. 
you know, either watch something that you like, distract yourself, take a break, take a couple days off, take something because that kind of mental break is never good. It doesn't help. It doesn't uh, go well for you. And I don't wish that on anybody because I've had those situations myself and I don't wish that on anybody. A lot of indies face the same struggle with third party artists. So it's, it's not unheard of, but it is sad that it's happening. And of course, ranting is not a bad thing. Um, most shocking thing is, though, she's working under the biggest VTuber agency and this stuff really happens with her cover. Niji Hobo is really getting uh, given the agency stamp of approval, even though they're doing horrible things. Well, that's her. That's what this person is saying. Not attraction in, in my feed. I believe it isn't entirely uncommon in the VTuber industry for this things to happen with commissions. Second tweet is more concerning with regards to her mental health. Of course, I have concerns about her mental health too. And get help with your mental health if you have any issues like this. Any ones where, where you're starting your anxiety starting to go up and starting to be really, really problematic. Get some help because you, no one deserves to be in that situation. This is a post in regards to uh, a collab cafe thing that they're doing. Uh, daring today, are we? And here's the, the big post here in regards to everything, the screenshots. You're having another new Didi Sanji collab, and guess who's in it? Basically, Niji N written on the image, Niji JP. Why do we have to make a thread on this? I can't tell Niji, you know, basically too much Niji stuff, according to this person. Of course, can we have Valera as a part of it? Of course, she's always going to be putting herself in it, according to the rats, at least, according to the rumors. There's a reason why she's in almost everything that pops out. If you want to believe the rumors, it's because she is the darling of uh, the management, the higher ups. They like her a lot, so they put her in all this kind of stuff. Forgot Vivi like usual, Scarlet and Rosamy as well, punch because the wholesome and drama free. My guess from the left, Illyra, Millie, or Rosamy, Reimu, Meloko, Kunai, Ryoma, Voxel Model, Aster. Left to right, Illyra, Petra, Millie, Meloko, Shu. You know, people are, are kind of having their ideas of who they could be. Of course, there's no favoritism in Idi Sanji. Glad they got the ones that put brand risk at this point. The collab pages shows they're still dumb and going down. Left to right. What people are thinking, Lyra, Petra, any of the Ethereum girls, Vox, Ike, Shu, Uki, Sunny, Alvin. Of course, the click all here. And that's the issue. It, it's, it looks like another click thing. And that is uh, going to look bad on them. 100%. This is someone memeing up on Niji Sanji. Uh, it's tweeting. I thought it was funny. So this person is drafting up a cease and desist letter as a joke for a client. And let me know what you guys think. Cease and desist all attempts to associate the literal uncaring void with any color. The void wants nothing to do with such shady dealings. In fact, it's considering expanding its territory to even darker realms to distance itself even further. Even the never-ending void, the uncaring never-ending void does not want to be a part of Niji Sanji shenanigans. That makes a lot of sense. It says, I agree, at least the void never abuses its workers. Exactly. Then we have this one. Send in the next wave. This is a Warhammer. It looks like a, well, it looks like a Warhammer thing, but this is like Starship Troopers. Yeah, no, this is Warhammer. This is absolutely Warhammer, isn't it? I, the the emblem on on the 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 actual uh helmets looks like warhammer more than anything it reminds me of it honestly i'm surprised that i haven't seen a comparison with the flashlight guys due to kurosanji the way to solve problems is just to throw people to the meat grinder yes of course they're throwing people to the meat grinder which sucks for the talents like i've always said even with the memes happening here do not harass the talents do not meme with the talents directly in their chat you can do it on twitter you can do it on those spaces but do not do it directly in chat it just doesn't doesn't bode well with me or anyone else really Go, moving on to other kind of side uh, things that were happening. A little bit of reminders of the past. Can I stop thinking about these interactions after the recent Re WrestleTuber event? Uh, I said, Obsidia, please follow me. I'm a big fan. Hey, Alira, did you miss me? No, I forgot you existed. Pretty much became truth. They spoke words into truth. Uh, Pomu didn't. But basically, you know, Pomu was with me. Pomu didn't didn't uh, forget about her. And of course, now that we have WrestleTuber, where they're both talking to each other again, they're not going to forget about each other at all. And they don't need Alira. They don't need someone like Alira, who is basically a snake. I, I mean, a snake in people clothing or a snake in VTuber clothing. Personally, he chalked this up to nothing more than banter. It was banter at the time, but it kind of was a harbinger of things to come. Because yes, this is banter, of course. <clears throat> It's not like them actually saying these negative things to each other because I don't think even Niji Sanji would be dumb enough to allow that. It's banter at the time, but it really hits different after everything has happened. Very true. Only a few days after Selene debuted, they were actually having that bat already. It would have pulled a Zion long ago. Personally to me, Pomo always seemed closer to Selene than she was with Alira. She was friends with both, but the way she interacted with Selene seemed a lot more unique and a lot closer, at least to me as well. Reaching for the moon here. This was before she even debuted. Yeah, it's not a lot of bad things. Like this person, as well as myself, is not going to say this is... It just hits different. But this was banter. This was in the beginning. And remember, Illyra does have the lore where she betrayed her sister, Selene, in order 
to better like to to benefit the dragon race because i think Selen was a hard you know something was going to happen negative to the dragon race if Selen was stayed around so she betrayed her sister and she uh did it for the better of the race which is weird which is a weird thing but yeah that's why that type of stuff was there it's banter just leave it as that but you know a kind of a little thing i wanted you guys to see this is one of those if you know you know type of things it's going to be kind of short this is a person from another organization. This is them talking in their past lives, being happy about what's going on. And like I said, it's an, it's an if you know, you know. I'm not going to mention it because as long as they haven't mentioned their past lives or their past lives aren't publicly known and available, like for example, the Nidhi Sanji ones are already publicly known. A lot of people have them. This is a person who is not in the whole Nidhi Sanji drama, so I'm not going to name them. But you can see their, their past life here saying happy and thriving. So grateful to all the wonderful people and opportunities in my life. And, you know, basically saying uh, she does song covers as well as known for being a VA of Midori and Yandere Simulator before the project collapsed. It was about not sharing PLs. Yeah, it's a, it's a PL of somebody, but you guys can look it up if you want to. I'm not going to say it. That's why, you know, I'm putting it here. Um, yeah, it, this is for any color management. They're going to retaliate by building actual Jera runes for their talents. If it's not, this one's not any color. So that's all I can say. It's not any color. Um, yeah, if you know, you know, it's one of those, if you know, you know, situations, but that's as far as I'm going to go. And I'm happy that this person, this specific person is having a lot of fun. They're having good times. They're enjoying themselves. They had a lot of positivity in there. And that's what I love seeing. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.